My name is Tom Mason. I'm a professional wildlife and nature photographer. For me, that means I can be working uh, with animals, creating portraits um, and environmental shots all over the place, be it the uh, Amazon rainforest, the Falkland Isles, or here in the beautiful British countryside. As a photographer, the kind of wildlife that I usually focus on has a huge breadth, to be honest. Um, everything from hares in the kind of back garden of where I grew up, all the way through to jaguars and penguins in remote locations. For me, I don't really have a specific kind of subjects that I definitely photograph all the time. It tends to be that when I go to locations, I work with whatever's in front of me to create interesting pictures that hopefully will captivate people and encourage them to get out there and look at wildlife themselves. So I've been working with Wex Photo Video um, ever since I was basically like 15 years old. It's a company that I've um, kind of grown alongside, purchasing my equipment from and also doing events over the last few years. So when the team asked me if I'd be involved in the Wex Ambassador Network, it was an immediate yes for me. The chance to kind of share content with the people and the community around Wex um, and also to just spread the word about a company that I really believe is a great service for those that it helps out and, and provides for. So the first time I picked up a camera, um, I was about 11 years old and I just read a book on bird watching that had a section on photography in it. Um, the moment I'd read it, flicked through the pages, it was immediately what I wanted to do. I picked up a second hand camera and that was it. I was in and I was a photographer from that moment on. What inspired me to start as a photographer really was just the natural world. I loved hiking, being outside, just enjoying nature and of course in order to make a career out of it, it just kind of made sense to pick up a camera. Um, you know, I picked up my first camera and that really was just the moment in my life where I thought, ah, this is exactly what I'm going to do. So throughout my career, I've had the chance to go to some incredible locations, but one of the ones that really sticks in my mind is that of the Amazon rainforest. Such an overwhelming place with so many subjects there, so much noise, so much movement. It really does just make you really experience wildlife on a whole different level. I was out there camera trapping for jaguars and it's something that I'd really wanted to get back and do having gone to the Amazon a couple of years previous and I worked for weeks and weeks setting up cameras in different locations coming back to them hours and hours of toying around with these things working through rain all this different stuff so I finally get a picture. I didn't get anything whilst I was there and it wasn't until two weeks after I got home that luckily my assistant rang me and said I got the picture and I got the final shot that I wanted of a jaguar in the Amazon rainforest. So over the next 12 months, one of the things that I'm really looking forward to exploring is that of getting out um, close to home and working on a project that I've been working on for many years that is photographing brown hares. I love the hare, it's probably my favourite animal in the whole world and the chance to spend a great deal of time working with it and a multitude of locations around the UK is going to be extremely fun. I want to develop the kind of uh, narrative around them that I've been photographing and really build on my work in different ways using remote cameras, um, shooting wide angles, all sorts of stuff that I haven't worked on in the past, it's going to be really great. Other than that, this year I'll also be putting a lot of work into my YouTube channel and, and kind of taking people behind the scenes as myself as a wildlife photographer. That's something I'm really looking forward to doing.